it's live. Oh. Hey then, Facebook. Just a quick one. Oh, it's just to fill you in on what's coming up in the next few weeks. So I've had some emails saying it's easier. Just going through this and um, yeah, just to fill out your diary. So, oh, it's so hot today in South Lansing. Oh, so hot, but beautiful, beautiful day. Um, right, so what's coming up? Let's get to it. Um, tomorrow is Monday. Uh, Monday evening, Therapy Live. Um, are continuing with their um, chats, well, uh, webcasts, live webcasts with speakers for the Therapy Live on the 20, Friday the 26th, which I'm speaking. I'm part of the exercise rehab um, category or room, um, and we're all going to be chatting a little bit um, Monday night, I think that's I think it's 8 o'clock on Therapy Live. So that's tomorrow night. Um, if you haven't got a ticket yet, I think we're, we're past 10,000 now. Um, of course it's free and it's like 50 uh, 50 plus speakers um, including myself and a lot far more superior obviously um, and a couple are not quite as good as me but um, yeah so check us out tomorrow night 8 o'clock Tuesday 8 o'clock is one for the therapists um, healthcare professionals um, in sports therapy association open group uh, we've got the second of our uh, weekly let's talk about webcasts um, which last week was really cool. Um, I'm hosting it and basically I had guests and it's all about things which predominantly sports therapists want to talk about. But as we'll see on Tuesday night at eight o'clock, um, I'm very keen to kind of demonstrate and, and give confidence to sports therapists um, that professional boundaries are merging considerably. And we're gonna talk about something called imposter syndrome, which I know in my experience and I hear a lot of other younger therapists, not just sports therapists, but particularly sports therapists feel, which is basically you think you're a bit of a fraud, that you don't have the right, you don't have the knowledge to help some of these people who come to you. Um, so we're gonna take a look at that with the assistance of the fantastic, knowledgeable, and eloquent, and mank, um, which is a, not an oxymoron, no, fits in very nicely, um, Jack Chu from the Physiomats podcast, um, and the driving force behind the Therapy Live conference. And we're gonna talk about um, imposter syndrome we're going to talk about the merging of professional boundaries we're going to talk about how it's not that difficult it's important but it's not that difficult to actually know when to refer to others um, it's having the confidence to be able to approach others and say look I'm doing this this and this I need someone to refer to and just setting up a network because they will refer back to you so it's really it's something for all healthcare professionals it's working together because the more you follow the evidence then the less distinct we are in our different modalities and, um, and we've all got a far more common goal if the evidence is driving behind us. So that's Tuesday night at 8 o'clock in the Sports Therapy Association Open Group. Um, and like I say, I'm not a sports therapist. Um, then what we got Friday at 1 o'clock, we've got a special edition of Run Chat Live with a um, fantastic female vocalist and musician um, Nadea Miranda, um, formerly front singer of The Love Gods. Uh, she was in Nouvelle Vague, and then she's got three albums, fantastic albums out under the title Nadea. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be talking, well, I'm gonna be talking to Nadea. I'm a big fan, been here for 15 years. Um, and it turns out she has some barriers to running a marathon. She loves the idea. She forwarded me a great book about marathon running, um, which inspired her, but she's got a few questions, which makes her think, I can't do it. Um, so she's going to be firing those questions to me, to which I will attempt to. I have no idea what the questions are, so it's going to be fun. And I'm going to be firing some questions to her about her music, about fitting it all in, because I know she exercises a lot. Um, very draining what she does, obviously, being an artist. Plus she's a mother. Um, plus the fantastic history she's got of albums. Um, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be one o'clock in the afternoon because of the time difference with Nadea. Um, so do put that in your diary, Friday, next Friday one o'clock in the afternoon UK time. The week after that, I think I've got a break. And then the week after that, so now we're going to something like the 18th of June, I believe, if that's a Thursday. Um, that will be a uh, run chat live with um, Emma Brockwell and Gronier uh, Donnell, or as Jack Chu likes to say, Granny uh, Donnell, but it is actually Gronier, I think, you'll find in, um, in Irish. 
as opposed to Mank. Um, but yeah, Gwane Donald and um, Emma Brockwell, I'll be chatting to them. Um, they've published a, a guide to running uh, post-pregnancy, um, which is kind of a big thing because there's been nothing until now. Um, and those two fantastic women's health physiotherapists with the help of Tom Goom, the three of them have authored this guide, which has been published. So we're gonna have a chat about that, about women's health. Um, uh, especially the importance that all therapists, particularly guys, male therapists, need to have in ask, asking certain questions. If you're going to work with a female athlete, um, there are things which you need to have the confidence to ask uh, and therefore know when to refer on or maybe how to help yourself, uh, depending on what your background is and, and what your profession is. Um, and that takes us to then um, the Friday after that, which is the 26th, which is Therapy Live, which will be a whole day of ridiculous CPD. Um, Obviously, you're not going to be able to watch every single speaker. There's crossovers. But I believe the most important one, myself, obviously, I think it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I think. But if you go to therapy.live.co.uk, I think that's it. And there's, there's links all over the place. Uh, but if you go to therapylive.co.uk, I think that's it. I'll make sure the link goes down here so you can see it. Um, and check out the speakers you haven't got to see me in fact if you know my stuff I mean, I'm not going to be saying anything new um, I haven't got anything new to say but this is all part of helping break the echo chamber so if you know anybody who you think would benefit um, from listening to me putting the evidence back into running injury and performance um, then uh, direct them towards I think it's 2.30 but check it out on the website I'm going to particularly be talking about how to get the evidence across. More therapists know what the evidence says now, but sometimes that's challenging. So I'm gonna be talking about how do you not make the runner in front of you think when you say, when you talk about the, but maybe if you do go into the fact that pain's an output, how do you phrase it so that one, they don't get bored, or two, they walk away thinking, oh, so pain's all in my head. I mean, that's a big one, and that's difficult. I might not have all the answers, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about it and give you some of my pointers and my experience. And other things like how do you dismiss the overpronation model um, without making them think you're just poo-pooing something because you want to say something different? How do you get across that maybe comfort is the best factor we've got without them thinking you're just that's too easy, that's not scientific enough? And so on, other things. Um, how do you take away their stretching without taking away their whole lives and making them think, you know, things like that. So it's not just giving you the evidence, I'll be talking about how to actually put it across to runners um, so yeah definitely one for maybe experienced therapists who are just getting into it or people who just want to have a chat about it so look forward to that and bum ba dum bum bum I think that's about it um, yeah all right then let's have a look who's on camera just quickly I do need to get home hey Paolo how are you doing you're all right Claire Hunter how are you Mane Martin thanks for joining us Fiona how are you coach Fiona hope you're well Mark Nussi is in the house hey Mark hope you're going to join us again on Tuesday 8 o'clock and STA open uh, group and Alan Stock is here as well hey Alan how are you doing right I do need to get back because I have children to look after um, hope you're well hope those uh, dates are in your diaries and you can join me on some of them um, that's about it right take care um, and if you are around, next call is tomorrow night, Monday, Therapy Live, 8 o'clock, with a bunch of us talking about Therapy Live and exercise rehabilitation. Take care, see you later.